Now, potential gradient. What is potential gradient? The rate of change of potential with distance in the electric field is called potential gradient. It's mean if we move away from the electric field, then the potential decreases. So the rate of change of potential with the distance in electric field is called potential gradient. So you have to write this statement and write the question what is potential gradient. This is statement and this is the expression of potential gradient. Potential gradient that is equal to dv upon dr. What is the unit of potential gradient? That is volt per meter. Learn. Next is electric field as a general, sorry, as a gradient of electric potential. Electric field as a gradient of electric potential. So in this diagram, suppose that a charge plus Q is kept at point O and the electric field will emerge out from it. Suppose that you have to find out the electric field at this point and you know the potential. So the distance is R, this part is dr. So you have to draw this diagram and write its expression. So first of all we will see the statement of electric field as a gradient of electric potential. The electric field intensity at a point in an electric field in a given direction is equal to the negative potential gradient. So whatever the value of potential gradient is there at the point B, that will be the electric field. So write this expression. Only the expression. Do not write this whole thing. Draw this diagram. Write this ex ex uh, statement and write this expression. E is equal to minus dv upon dr. Okay. So electric field intensity at a point in an electric field in a given direction is equal to the negative potential gradient in that direction. Why this negative sign comes? So the negative sign signifies that the potential decreases in the direction of electric field. Means if we move away in the direction of electric field, electric potential gradient decreases. Next is electric potential energy of the system. So what is electric potential energy? So the work done in bringing the charges in a system is known as electric potential energy. So see, suppose that point A and point B having two charges, Q1 and Q2, separated at a distance R. So you have to find out what is the potential energy of the system. First of all, you have to find out either the potential of charge Q1 at B or the potential of charge Q2 at A. Suppose that the potential of charge Q1 at B is equal to V is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 upon R. This we have there, right? Now, the work done will be equal to because V is equal to W upon Q. So, W is equal to Q into V. What is Q? Q is Q2. So, W is equal to Q2V. So, put the value of V from here. So, 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 upon R. This actually we had derived in uh, the equation when we have to obtain this expression. So the W is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 upon R. This is work done. Do we know very well work is equal to energy. So this is actually the potential energy. So first of all we have to see the statement. The electric potential energy of a system of a charge in the is the work done that has been done in the bringing those charges from infinite to near each other to form a system. Or simply you can say the work done in bringing the two charges near to each other at a distance r in a system known as electric potential energy. Now, this is the expression of electric potential energy. U is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 upon r. So, W and U both are similar. Thing. Now, we have to see this problem. Suppose that we have to find out the electric potential energy of these three charges kept in the form of triangle. Charge Q1 and Q2 are separated by a distance R12. Charge Q2 and Q3 are separated by the distance R23. And charge Q1 and Q3 are separated by the distance R13. So first of all we have to find out the potential energy to form this, then this and then this. So what is the potential energy of these two charges? 
वन अपॉन फोर पाइव साल एन नॉट क्यू वन क्यू टू अपॉन आर वन टू इट विल बी नेगेटिव देन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी टू फॉर्म दीज टू चार्जेस वन अपॉन फोर पाइव साल एन नॉट क्यू टू क्यू थ्री अपॉन आर टू थ्री इट विल ऑल्सो भी नेगेटिव ड्यू टू दिस नेगेटिव साइन देन द एनर्जी ड्यू टू दिस टू चार्जेस देन दैट इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन फोर पाइव साल एन नॉट क्यू वन क्यू थ्री अपॉन आर वन थ्री सो वट इज द कॉमन पार्ट इन दीज थ्री That is one upon four pi epsilon naught. The total energy will be one upon four pi epsilon naught bracket Q one bracket minus Q two upon R one two plus minus Q two Q three upon R two three and plus Q one Q three upon R one three. So this is actually the formula you have to learn. If such type of diagram used to come in your paper asking for the electric potential energy, then you have to obtain like this. Next. Equipotential surfaces. What is equipotential surface? So a surface where the potential everywhere is same. That is called equipotential surface. And in equipotential surface, the work done in bringing any charge is zero. So any surface over which the electric potential is same everywhere is called equipotential surface. So this is equipotential surface. and the special property of this equipotential surface that potential everywhere same so whatever amount of charge is brought from any point to another point that is the work done is zero so this is equipotential surface learn this statement it is important then important important properties of equipotential potential surface number 1 no work is done in moving a charge between any two points On an equipotential surface, important learn this. The work done on an equipotential surface is zero. Second is the electric field and hence the lines of force are everywhere at right angle to the equipotential surface. Mean electric field lines are perpendicular to the surface over equipotential surface. In a family of equipotential surfaces, the surfaces are closer together where the electric field is strong. So where the electric field is strong, then the uh, equipotential surface will be closer to each other, and further apart where the field is weaker. Last point: No two equipotential surfaces can intersect each other. Means equipotential surfaces never intersect each other. 